Hey you guys, today is Sunday. We are doing something a little bit unusual today. Yep, I did my hair, did my makeup, Jason got a dress shirt on. Unfortunately though, today we have to go to a funeral. Jason's business partner's wife passed away. So the kids are home. I think they're losing it at home because Ashley was told she couldn't have an iPad. <laughs> but um, I will insert a little clip. Our friend, Diana, she actually has a YouTube channel herself, but she is the music leader for our kids' primary group at church. And she is just the most amazing primary teacher and ever like to lead music. And she created this, since we're not going to church right now because of this whole virus thing. She Coronavirus 2020. Stop. <laughs> she created a little emoji game to guess the songs. And then she did 20, 21 different songs all with emojis and they're so cute and the girls sat for about a half hour 45 minutes we we're trying to figure out these emoji songs and then we had to leave and they're on our phones so we'll do that again later tonight but um i thought that was a really cute activity for the kids to do while they're home from church because then it meant like once we kind of figured out the song then we would listen to it or if we couldn't figure out the song but i knew the song i would play it without the words and see if the kids could catch on to the tune so it was just a really fun activity we'll do that again later okay chelsea and ashley are here doing a really fun activity i'm see if I can get it to focus on my phone. So my friend sent all these church kids songs in emojis and we just did number six. It is a child's, child's prayer. prayer. Look at how cute that is. We can't find and there's, it. yeah, we're, they're working on it, right but guys? So my friend sent about 21 of these. There's two 20. messages. I've got 20. 20. Nope, there's 21. So there's all these other ones right here. So fun. Yeah. All right, so Ashley just figured oh, yeah. out one all by herself, <laughs> right? Should we see if people can guess it? Well, they can look at it. Yeah, it's really All right, they can leave a comment nine. below before Ashley tells you. What is number nine? Tell us what it is, Ashley. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, let's see it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> but it's really creative, isn't it? Because, like, you can see the head, you can see, see the, the shoulders. shoulders. And the knees uh, and toes. Yeah. She's so creative, huh? Yeah. Okay, write it down on your paper. But we're going to this funeral, but we're also, I don't know, what, do you want to explain it or do you want me to try and explain it? What we're doing after the funeral. So, I can't get really detailed. Anyways. Yeah, don't get too detailed. Too detailed, because I don't want to like get anybody in trouble. But basically, we have heard that they might do the whole shutdown all non-essential businesses. Everyone has to close. Um, we know that the National Guard is actually already here in Washington State. We do? They, yeah, they're already here. They arrived like a couple days ago, or or that was the, the plan for them to come. I'm not positive. Um, but yeah, that is... Either way, they, there's talk that they're going to shut everything down. We've already gotten most of our supplies, but we just are going to get a little bit more make sure because if they do do a mandatory non-essential don't leave your home type you know i thought you were going to take east lake no i'm going this way up to the next exit okay and then I'm gonna, okay um either way that we're going to go to costco or some groceries pick up just some essentials in case we have to be at home it's not much but um things are getting really real it's going to be trying to figure out business stuff but that's what i'm doing on my own um you know, employees are gonna end up having to just go home and I'm trying to figure stuff out, information to get to them and stuff. So that's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah, they might have to like file for unemployment during the time that we have to close our store. And then if we get it back up and running, then obviously it'll be fine, but then they can maybe get reimbursed. Oh dear. I think this is all an unknown. Everything it's all is. Known. I don't know. I'm just trying to help them out. I'm trying to like, yeah. You know, we're gonna pay our mortgage and all that fun stuff. So just gotta call the property manager and say, look, I'm not paying my rent. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot going on. We don't want to panic. I was feeling really, really anxious yesterday. Like, oh dear. I was feeling really anxious, and I don't like feeling that way because I'm not an anxious person at all. So if you are normally, I am so sorry because. I'm literally probably just getting a pebble drop of anxiety right now and I don't like it. I don't like this feeling. I'm not a fearful person and so I think I will be 
I'm fine being home with my kids. I'm fine being stuck at home. I'm fine, like we can go in our backyard, we can go for a walk, if we stay by each other. I'm I'm fine being at home. We need to go back and uh, when you didn't have a car. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time about you stuck at home. He's being a brat. <laughs> I am going to stock up on an extra case of Coke, though. He's going to oh, make fun. Course. You're going to get a snack, and you know it. And it's only going to last you two days. It's not going to last you two those, weeks. Those uh, animal crackers lasted me a week plus. Yeah, when did we go? I guess we could look at that, because you just barely finished them. No, yes. they've been gone for a while. No. And the kids used them for school. Kids used them for school. Okay, we're babbling. We're going to go to this funeral. This It's really hot in here. Then we're going to go to Costco. We are not going to go crazy. We're not going to steal everything off the shelf. We're gonna get essen more essentials. Um, we might knock a few old ladies over to get some stuff, but oh my gosh. you know. <laughs> and yes, we normally don't do this on Sunday. He got home too late last night. We got word too late last night that things were kind of changing and we don't feel like we should wait until Monday to do this. So Jason just changed his clothes in the back seat of the car at Costco. <laughs> Haven't done that in a long time. So we're gonna head in. We don't know what it's gonna look like in there. It's not bad. The parking lot's not that. The parking full. lot's not overflowing. So everybody's got their toilet paper. All right. So we could only get one egg and one set of milk. So we've got oranges and lettuce and a chicken, rotisserie chicken so far, and essentials. That's my essentials. All right, we'll show you what we got. We got three cases of yogurt because it was on rebate. Which we would normally stock up on anyway. Yeah, we would normally get two of them, just not three of them. Popcorn for all the movies we're gonna watch. Netflix, for sure. To keep the headaches away. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of headaches. So we can never have too much cereal. Got more cereal. When we get done. Trying to get fresh fruit while we can. So we got some more oranges and some orange chicken. The third box of yogurt. We finally found canned soup. They have not had that. So we got this Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Again, on the fresh fruit. We're gonna get some lettuce for salads and taco salads and wraps and whatnot. Some more bread. Then we got our one pack of milk that we were allowed to have and the rotisserie chicken. So luckily there's not as many people here today as we've seen over the past couple weeks. Um, but they actually do have it set up where you can only get in line. They have all these crates set up um, and you get in line and they only allow a thousand people in the doors at a time. And then they count for every 40 people that leave the store, then they allow the additional to come into the store. So as when we came in and came out, they weren't at limit. This is the fewest people I've ever seen at Costco. Like ever. Yeah, I mean, this is empty. Any day, yeah. panic, no panic. There's yeah. no, this is, and we everybody's don't, stocked up, I guess. We don't normally shop on Sunday, but no one around here cares about that. So, um, but it is weird. They, even the employees said that this is like calm after the storm. Like they're really grateful. Uh, also, another thing that we noticed were the tire shop guys. They have, because they're employees of Costco, but obviously they don't have anything to do right now because that's not what people are necessarily worrying about. And so they have them on crew in the stores gathering up all the empty boxes. Uh, we saw easily like four groups of guys. Yeah, the tire guys going there picking yeah. up boxes. Yeah, picking stuff. up, you know, going through the they freezer section. from the corporate headquarters over to pick up boxes. And yeah, so I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but we've got... After the stock market crashes here in a few days and weeks, by Costco, I think their We're gonna, quarterly sales are going to be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to be doing good. But we need to get back home to the kids and sit down and talk with them about kind of our plan. I've been texting um, some of the other moms and kind of coming up with plans for what are we going to allow our kids to do? Can they hang out with your daughter? You know, that kind of thing. We should, in comments below, you guys should leave what, uh, what you're doing. 
maybe you're in a place where you don't have to hunker down. We think we're going to have to probably nationwide hunker down here real soon. But um, I don't know. What are your plans? What are you doing with your kids? Not doing? How many, you know, what are, what are your plans and strategies? I think we're going to have to hunker down. Um, so, but that we're going to go home, go over. I have a schedule set up for homeschooling. I'll show you that when I get home. The kids kind of know about it, but they don't know kind of the rules. We and, haven't rolled it out yet. We haven't rolled it out yet. But luckily, at least one other mom of Kaylee's friends is completely on board, has the same schedule as us. So her daughter is, you know, going to be occupied, you know, so Kaylee won't be able to go and hang out with her until a certain time frame. And so that helps us to be able to say, well, you can, if you get your stuff done, if you get your schoolwork done at the same time as her, then you guys can go and hang out. So we'll talk about that later, but that's kind of helping us as parents when other parents are kind of following the same schedule and, and rules as we go through this. It's all like new. So we just got home and this is what social distancing looks like. <laughs> Playing in the garage. You're okay, just clean it up. <laughs> Our kids are in for a rude awakening when they realize they're not getting electronic time until 1.30 p.m. every day. Where all those shoe boxes come from? I don't know. All, all right, you guys. Oh gosh, it's been a really long day. Uh, we got home, we had lunch. I didn't film anything else for the rest of the day. We um, had a family meeting that did and did not go very well. <laughs> Some people are having a harder time accepting the fact that we are housebound. We can go outside in the car, we can go for a drive, we can go for a walk as a family. We can hang out with one friend. One of us can hang out with one friend. <laughs> and one of us is having a hard time with that. One of us is upstairs with that one friend having a hard time with that. But it's our new reality for right now and they have to accept that. Um, we are allowing that one friend to come over and that one daughter of ours is allowed to go to that one friend's house because I'm in, can, I'm in direct contact with that mom and we've both agreed on certain standards. We, she comes here, she washes her hands, she uses a Clorox wipe to wipe her phone down. Same for when my daughter goes to their house and they are just across the street. So there's not much contact of anyone else in between. Um, but for the others, I'm going to keep them home and limit their contact because I have a harder time with some of the other parents in that regard. I'll just say that. <laughs> and we really need to just not be around anyone. They don't have a hard time figuring out how to entertain themselves as much. So they're also having a little bit of a hard time realizing that school is happening tomorrow from here at home. <laughs> I've got it right here. They're, they're, they'll be excited about it. They've got lots of fun activities that we can do and I've talked to them about how museums are now going and doing virtual tours and we can watch that on TV and the Discovery Channel for our science hour. So they realize it's not just going to be book work. We're going to make it fun. We're going to cook and bake and do science experiments and that kind of thing. So they're, and my Abby, she's so good. She's such a t good teacher. Um, you saw them in the, in the garage today. They were doing PE hour. They were doing yoga. <laughs> She's going to be really good for these kids um, until she gets some extra schoolwork to do from her teachers um, online. But even after that, she'll get her stuff done and she'll come down and help them. I think she's going to be one of my lifesavers for this whole thing because she's really creative. She loves doing this kind of stuff. I think she probably will be a teacher, uh, you know, eventually. But I'm going to end the day. The girls are, two of the girls are out watching a movie with Jason. Um, we just had dinner. Um, we're going to close this up tonight, so our new reality starts tomorrow. I feel like we kind of had a mini do-nothing weekend, and it it starts tomorrow, and it might actually start to get worse tomorrow for everyone else, so good luck out there, and we're in this together, guys, worldwide. Say good night. Good night. And someone lost her voice. Yeah. Tell them why you lost your voice. Because I was screaming too much. She did not like the rule of losing her iPad when we left to go to the funeral. So someone 
screamed for probably about an hour while we were gone. Did you say about an hour? Well, not really an hour, just like... Long enough to lose your voice? Yes. <laughs> say goodnight, Dad. Goodnight. Can't even kiss you, you're all bundled up. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Night, guys.